Did you know your app holds hidden secrets? There are vulnerabilities lurking in the shadows, invisible to the naked eye. One wrong library, one forgotten patch, and those secrets could expose your app, your data, and your entire business. But there's a tool forged in the fires of cybersecurity, open source vulnerability scanners. They rip through the darkness, exposing those hidden threats before they can strike. So don't let your code dependencies hide secrets from you. Shine a light and take control. Open source software has become the building block of modern applications. Statistics show that nearly 90% of all applications contain open source components. It's like a buffet of tools developers can grab to build incredible things quickly and efficiently. But just like any buffet, if you're not careful, you might take something you don't like, or worse, take something that'll make you feel ill later. This is where open source vulnerability scanners come in. Think of them as food critics with x-ray vision, scanning every line of code for security flaws. So here are seven reasons why you should use them in your software development lifecycle. Reason number one, you should use open source vulnerability scanners. They help you unmask the threats. Vulnerability scanners help discover if any known vulnerabilities are already existing in your technology stacks libraries. This helps you speed up the remediation process substantially and it alerts you before hackers can cause trouble. So take for instance here, I have my project imported via the sneak UI or the sneak website rather. And in this project, it's my Node.js goof project. It's telling me, Sneak is telling me that in my Docker file, it found this many issues that are different severity levels, along with my package JSON file and my code itself in the code analysis section here. And this is just a quick example of how a vulnerability scanner can alert you to the threats, the vulnerabilities that are in your application. Reason number two, they help you patch up the cracks. Once vulnerabilities are found, these scanners allow swift identification and remediation across all instances of the issue, locking out potential attackers promptly. An example of this is using the Sneak CLI, which I can run a test against my project using Sneak Test, and then analyze the results from that command being run. One in particular we can look at is that I'm depending on this validator library directly. And in particular, version 13.5.2, and it's telling me that if I want to fix this, I can upgrade to version 13.7.0 to fix all of these four vulnerabilities that are introduced through that dependency. Reason number three, they help you know your ingredients. Your scanner works to reveal crucial details about the open source frameworks and libraries included in your applications, which includes usage details, versions used, and their dependencies themselves. This gives you a clear picture of everything you're working with in your project. Let's take a look at an example of how Sneak can help out with that. Sneak has SBOM capabilities or software bill of material. And I can use the Sneak CLI tool to do just that as well. Something like Sneak SBOM, the particular format I want the SBOM report to be formatted in and to tell it all the projects that I have within this overall directory that I'm working with. Another way we can take a look at what would be considered part of our software bill of materials is our dependency tree for our project. So in this case, I'm using the Sneak UI and I'm taking a look at the dependencies from my goof project. I have this Adam ADM hyphen zip, this body parser, and I can see the child dependencies off of that dependency and traverse that parent child relationship all the way down the tree to get a full understanding of what it is that's consisting of the software I'm depending upon for my application. Reason number four, they help you stay licensed, compliant, and most importantly, legal. To avoid any legal surprises, vulnerability scanners assist in ensuring compliance with license requirements of your open source dependency. For example, you may find that some of your dependencies use a copy left license like GPL 3.0. Copy left licenses automatically apply themselves to derivative works, meaning you just open source your own application. Depending on your project and business, you may not want this. In this case, a scanner could recommend that you find a library with a permissive LGPL license and not the copy left GPL license. Using an open source vulnerability scanner like Sneak, you'll be able to see all the licenses being used by your dependencies and it enables you to make the best decisions when navigating the legalities of your software. Reason number five, they help you build secure from the start. By integrating vulnerability scanners at the onset, you can ensure secure open source packages are used from the start, preventing future compromises. One of the ways I go about doing that as a developer myself is by using the Sneak VS Code extension. This is the environment I'm working within on a day-to-day -day basis, building out Node.js, JavaScript web applications. And I can use the Sneak extension to run those different scans with the open source vulnerability scanner from Sneak. But also in my code, I can see any 
vulnerabilities I might be introducing. So if I hover over this right here, we can see that Sneak is alerting me, hey, you're hard coding this secret. You should avoid doing that and instead use something like environment variables in a more secure way of using that secret in my code. Reason number six, they help you keep up with the latest open source community trends. Scanners leverage multiple sources, including the global open source community to uncover vulnerabilities. Sneak, for example, uses its own open source vulnerability database, which incorporates sources like GitHub and social media into it. This enables you to keep up to date with the latest security trends. Here's an example of a regular expression denial of service vulnerability that is being reported in the Sneak vulnerability database or captured in the Sneak vulnerability database. And in particular, it's for this library called URL Lite. There's currently no fix for it as the, at the time of this recording, but I can find out where this is being sourced from. And you can read more details about it from the vulnerability database, but getting back to that community insight, we can see more through the references that are found with this database entry. I can see that somebody reported it on the repository for that library directly. It's an open issue and I can learn more about this particular vulnerability and if I need to be as concerned about it uh, in my own project and how I'm using it. And last but not least, reason number seven, they help you manage maintenance madness. Open source packages often depend on volunteers for maintenance, making continuous monitoring critical. Furthermore, when vulnerabilities are found, Sneak can identify the minimal upgrade required or even develop a proprietary patch in collaboration with the package maintainer. So let's take a look at an example of how this could happen. Let's say I'm using containers in my project and I wanna know about the vulnerabilities in it. I can use the Sneak CLI tool, Sneak Container Test, tell it the image name and the Docker file location. Now, for the sake of time, I've already ran that. So I'm going to scroll up and show the recommendations for a base image upgrade. In this case, I can go to node base image 14.21.0 and I can significantly cut down on the number of vulnerabilities from 1000 vulnerabilities over 1000 to 666. Another way Sneak can help out with managing maintenance madness is it can even offer up to keep your dependencies up to date with the latest versions that are coming out by opening up automatic PRs for those updates. Those are the seven reasons to use an open source vulnerability scanner. To quickly recap, they help you unmask the threats, patch up the cracks, know your ingredients, stay licensed and legal, build secure from the start, keep up with community trends, and last but not least, manage maintenance madness. That does it for this video. If you got value out of it, be sure to like it down below and share it with a colleague who could put it to use. And if you made it this far, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and happy, safe coding everyone.